Okay, um, we're going to do a video here to show you exactly how to do your plus upgrade. And Lisa's gonna kind of talk me through this. And so you will be able to do it also. Um, so What's let's in that started. fun box? What you got? Um, we've got new outstanding sewing. Oh, quit reading it. Open it. <laughs> I was trying to read it. <laughs> we want to get to the good stuff. All right. Okay. Ooh, I bet those are directions. Oh, there's the directions. It tells you exactly. It's going to take you step by step. Those are all the do. upgraded features. Yeah, so. So, let's see. Ooh, bitch. Let's not do it in the Dutch. German. In the Deutsch. Those are all German. Let's not, no, you had it, didn't you? Oh. Not, one more. One more. Right. Plus upgrade for being a 770. Alrighty. There you go. Okay. So there it's showing what's in our kit. Oh, so the nice. Um, that's a 72 foot with the slit. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, right there. See the slit? The slit right there. Right there. Cool. Cool. And your couching inserts. Yeah, that's neat. And your product key card. That's the important part that you need to do the actual upgrade. So we'll just put the rest of that aside for now. Put it. Lori talking to the box again. <laughs> Okay. All right. All right. So we got all of that stuff. So we've already done that. Um, and you need to get your machine ID. So to do that, you have to have the most up-to-date firmware version installed on the machine. All right. So we are here at BerninaUSA.com. And I clicked on the search button, which is right there. And I put in firmware, firmware B770. Okay. And if we scroll down, or just move the screen, you're going to see, here you go. This one, the plus upgrade? No. Yeah. Nope. That's manuals and firmware. Well, yeah, sure. Go there. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going, keep going, all the way to the bottom. Keep going. Oh, look at the couching. What you can do with yeah. that. Cool. Embroidery okay. benefits. Makes your machine compatible with the new embroidery module. Nice. Yeah. Faster, quieter, smoother embroidery, increased stitch quality. New sewing and quilting features. Your triple stitch fun. We know we haven't been talking about the triple no, stitch. No, we haven't because you can make every every stitch triple stitch. Triple stitch, yeah. Before you start. Oh, look at how pretty that is. Okay. So get started. So you can click there. Okay. So you need to have the newest firmware update. So now how do they know if they have the newest because, firm? Because, well, when we get to the machine, I will show you. But when you look right here, you'll see uh, da, 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 firmware, 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 firmware. We want... Oh, she touched it. <laughs> okay, we're going to close that. Okay. So this is download instructions. This is oh, okay. telling you how to download it. Um, this is V39.07.03. Includes special editions. This is V351729. Look at the publish date on that. So you would want this version. Right. And it's in a zip file. So we want this. Okay. So it's, op or it's not opening it, but it's downloading it. It's thinking 
Actually, that's got a lot of download. We're gonna come back when it's downloaded. All right, so our file has downloaded, so we're gonna go ahead and click on Open File. Okay, and there you see it has opened in the zip file, so it's a compressed folder, but it's opened it up. So if you minimize that, mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. the square thing. Okay, so see what that did? It oh. made it go smaller. Okay, and then I don't know how we got two of them, but there's two of them, so close that one. There, okay. And then okay. now you're going to collapse this. That's what the little mark is. This. Uh huh. There you go. Okay, now we want to drag those three files into our USB stick. And rather than have you drag directly, I'm going to have you click on that. You're going to hold the shift and click on the bottom. Okay, now take your hand off the shift. Put your cursor on top and drag it over there. Like here? Uh-huh. Now click down and drag it over there. Drag it all the way out onto the desktop. Okay, see how it says it's copying things? Okay, now go ahead and collapse that. And we should have those things, I don't know where they went. I got too much stuff on there. I have way too much stuff. Did you get them off of there? I thought I did. Maybe it went there. Try that. The firmware? Open that. Nope. No. That's a 570. All right. Okay, so bring bring the collapse thing back up. The file. The file. There you go. Okay. Take your cursor and drag it all the way into the Do I hold shift or anything? No, just put your cursor over it. Now drag it. Do I double click the, it? No, just click and drag your cursor from there. See how you've got it coming with you? Bring it all the way out there. My finger's over here. Okay, take your finger off. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> here, shift. To there. Dag nab it. There. I can't do this with my left hand. To there. Okay, now go like that. So it's in there somewhere. We just don't know where. Okay, so it's dragging those things off into our desktop. Okay, so you can't start way over here. So make it highlighted that you've got all of them selected. Then you just, just go, okay. click it and move it. So instead of going here, I should have been over like here. Right, okay. right. Okay. All right, so now we're going to have to find in this whole... Oh, there it is. There's one. And there's the other, and there's the other. Okay, we found them. They're right there. All right, so your three files. You've got that one, that one, and that one. And you can see, see what it says, 3.9? And that says 3.9. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. this is the bootloader is what that is. So we have three just generic files on there, and that's what those are. So now we're going to go back, and we're going to get our, um, what do you call it, our... Um, USB? USB, yeah, opened. There's PEC, and there's our USB drive right there. And there it is. And I can take this and I can drag it in so I can see those things. I'm going to click and drag. Click and drag. That one's a big one, so it's taken a lot. You don't put things on USBs very often, do you? No. <laughs> no big deal. We got you covered. Okay, I would be bringing my machine in here. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so there's multiple ways to save stuff on your USB drives. This, I find this to be the simplest to explain to people. Okay, and then we want this one. And there it is. All right. So those are our three files. It's our bootloader. That's that right there. And, okay, and what does that mean? 
it, it's a thing that makes it load into your... Okay. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and take our USB stick out. We're going to go over to the 770. Okay. All right. So here we are at our 770. So you want to know how you find out what version software you already have firmware. Touch your settings. Touch your sewing machine. Uh, yes. The globe. No, no. no. Not the globe. The eye the, over there, the round thing. Information. Okay. And then, and then yeah. Okay, and that is going to tell you this is version 2902.01, and this is past that. This is a higher number than that, so we know we need to update it. Okay, so in your breadcrumbs, go back to your sewing machine. Uh huh. And let's see, go to your tools, and where it says update, okay, insert your USB stick. Okay, then hit the update button. And it's doing its deal. So it is, you can tell that by little round thing. So it is gonna go through its whole thing. It's gonna shut down and restart the machine and then we'll be back when it does. Okay, so we're back. It's just about finishing up. So it already shut down and restarted the machine. And now the little progress bar, you can see that gold thing across the bottom. is kind of crawling across the bottom. It's doing its update, yep. So the next thing we need to do is generate our activation key. So you are going to go, um, boy, I can't focus on that. Ooh, you guys, I won't focus. Well, anyway, it's in your directions. I can't seem to focus on that. But anyway, we're gonna get the uh, machine ID, we're gonna go get the product key, and you're gonna go to this web page that's in your book on page seven with your update. We're going to enter all the required data and then the activation key is going to be displayed and sent to email to the address you've provided. So the next thing we're going to do is go over there and get that information. Alrighty, so we have gone to the website address, which I can't show you because I can't get my autofocus to work, but we've gone it's to that website address. Or you can use a QR code reader and scan it. But you go to this whole thing. I wouldn't go to Bernina.com. Okay. I would do type all that in. It takes you to exactly the place that you're supposed to be as opposed to searching around for it. Okay, so three steps. You're going to follow three steps. So we're going to do that. So we updated the machine, right? Mm -hmm. So we're done with that. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to go here. Mm -hmm. Click the button below. Before it keeps, scroll down. It means below. <laughs> Get started. Okay, ready? Okay, install the latest firmware. We've done that. Proceed with next step. Okay. Now you're going to fill in this information. So this is the store machine. We're going to go ahead and type this. You don't have to watch us type this. And then we'll come back. Okay, so Lori has filled in all of our information up there and we're going to get to our machine id if you click there's a little link right here that tells you how to find your machine id so click on that little link and that'll show you exactly where to go to get your machine id so is it at the same place that you found the serial number and the update number it's where the update thing is okay yeah. and everybody's going to have a different one so it doesn't matter if you're seeing mine because they're all different. Okay. And when you get the right one in, it'll say click. Yes, good. Now we're going to enter now this Now you're going to choose your machine. Which You're going to choose your machine. 770QE. Okay. Now you're going to take your product key code, and you've got a key on it. We're not going to show you our key code because you may think you can use that, and you can't. We're gonna put our key code in. You'll have it in your kit, in the little, it's the back side of this card, has your key code, okay? Okay. Okay, so we got our, use, our, our product code is in there, and now we have to confirm that we've read the stuff that we didn't read. <laughs> and then we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna submit. And then we're gonna submit it. And then it's gonna give us an activation code. 
You didn't have a street number in here. Okay, 838. Yes, I, I typed that. Well, it wants it there. Is it doing something or not? Are we doing something? Over crying out loud. Okay, activation. all right, then we get an activation key. So key code thing. All right, we're not gonna show you that because um, you're gonna get your own. Settings. All right, so now we have our activation code. We're gonna go to settings, the sewing machine the round thing with the eye in it. The round thing with the eye in it. There you go. And then upgrade. Okay. You're gonna activate. And it is gonna have you put in your code, which we have our code. We're gonna not show you that, we'll be back. When you get all those numbers added in, then you're gonna hit that green check mark. Invalid key. Invalid key. key. Go back and look at that again. A H W D. -D. We're going to check this. There is an M. So I wrote it down wrong. Yeah, so that should be that. And, and then, then U Z R H. Click. Hey, look. It is. <laughs> you get the numbers right, it should be right. <laughs> okay, so if it's in there, we know it's in there click out of there. We're going to go here and check and we should have additional designs unlocked now. Oh. Paper piece? Pacing in the hoop. Yeah. Quilting in the hoop. Hey, look. It happened. So there's piecing in the hoop in there, you guys. And gag nab it. And quilting in the hoop, more quilting designs added. And then if we go back to here, we should see some more stitch alphabet or alphabets, I'm sorry. We should see some more alphabets. And oh, what's that? Japanese? Japanese, I don't know. Chinese. But yeah, there's way more alphabets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven alphabets in there now. That's a nice one, the italic. Mm hmm. That is ooh, nice. That's ooh. like a Greek, isn't it? Something, yeah. That's pretty. Okay, so we know what happened. We know what went in there. We're good. That's how you do that. <laughs> that easy. <laughs> it, it was actually easy, except if, we were running back know, and forth and we wrote the number down wrong. But besides that, it was easy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and if you, if you know how to slide slide <laughs> drag <laughs> all right okay that was it you guys see ya